I usually, when I talk about, when I see a movie, I instantly talk about it. But I, I said, let me, like, let it, what's the word, let it blend in in a bit. And yeah, let's get right into it. The film that we're talking about today is the film, A Haunting in Venice. A Haunting in Venice is a mystery crime drama horror film. In post-World War II Venice, Poro, now retired and living in his own exile, reluctantly attends a seance, but when one of the guests is murdered, it is up to the former detective to once again uncover the killer. The film's runtime is 103 minutes, the film's rating is PG-13 in color with a little bit of black and white. The film's directed by Kenneth Branhow, known for the films Henry V, Hamlet, and Belfast, and the novel by Agatha Christie. So, let's get right into it. Haunting in Venice. Of course, I got to see the first two movies in my own time, and it was exciting. I I wasn't expecting much from these movies, but I enjoyed it. I had a good time with the first one, and I even had a good time with the second. And I do believe the third film is the best of the trilogy. It is a mix of mystery, which I'm always a sucker of, but also a mixture of a little bit of horror elements, a little tense. Something that I didn't expect from this movie. This is something I can imagine how it's probably probably difficult to advertise a movie like this because you, you, you're going to expect, oh, it's just going to be like another horror movie. But then you're like, when I saw that trailer, I still remember seeing the trailer in theaters. Like, oh, it's going to be like any horror movie. But then I saw Kenneth Branagh's freaking mustache. I'm like, oh, shit, it's one of these movies. And I'm like, ah. It's going to be interesting to advertise it, but I thought this film was just a really solid film. I had a great time with this film with the mystery aspect and also just the horror and the thrilling aspects of the film. And I just had a great time with, with this film and the performances by the cast is great. Of course, you got Kenneth Branagh playing the mustache wearing Hercule Poirot and he's retired and he's just living his life. But he gets told like, hey, there's... Uh, a, 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 a what is what do they call them the psychic who who can find the dead and he's like all right this intrigues me let's let's find out if this is fake or not and yeah he gets into this little supernatural aspects and yeah I think I think Kenneth Branagh is probably the best part of these this entire trilogy he is really good in these movies he's likable you get the little hints of this character and the character grows and grows with each film and. I really did like Kenneth Branagh in this film and him dealing with just just his beliefs and just the supernatural and trying to truly try to figure out what the heck is going on here. And I think Kenneth Branagh is really good in this movie. I think he pulls a really solid performance, a more psychological performance. And I think Kenneth Branagh did a great job. The supporting cast, you got Tina Fey in a, in a role that's definitely different than what you expect from SNL. And she's just, she's there. She's... The one they have, she's the one, she has experience, she has a, a history with Kenneth Branagh, her kill, and he, she's the one that pretty much tells him about the party, and yeah, Tina Fey is good in the movie, she was pretty good for the film, and I liked seeing, I liked the dynamic between her and, and Kenneth Branagh, sadly we didn't, we didn't get the dynamic of, of course, the last two movies with the dude and all, but I think Tina Fey was great, I liked her, I liked her dynamic, and I thought both of them did a great job together. And you also got Jamie Dermon, or I think that's his name, the guy from Fifty Shades, and the young child from Belfast. So I pretty much brought the two the two people from Belfast, and they're good. I like J Jamie and the kid. The kid was just there, uh, the one talking to Hercule, saying, "Hey, man, you should believe in this, the, the 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 possessions and stuff." And Jamie Dermon plays a PTSD guy, and I thought I liked them too. I thought the two did a great job, and it's cool seeing them two again and, and working with Kenneth. Brent and also you get Michelle Yo in a really good performance for the short role that she's in as this psychic and yeah Michelle Williams is great in this movie I thought she was really good and her her performance was really top notch for the for the short amount of screen time that she gets for this film and you also got the supporter you got, you got the mom who's the one that she brings in Michelle Yo to you know contact her her child and yeah she's good in the movie got the boyfriend who you know had a bad relationship with the young girl who they pretty much thought took her own life so she he's there he, he's like all right let's see what's happening and yeah that he's good 
You also get um, the, 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 the police officer who's the one, the bodyguard, who's beating the shit out of people. Yeah, that was entertaining. He's good too. And all in all, everybody's good for, for their role. The direction by Kenneth Branagh is really good. This is a very well directed film, it's very well made. And the pacing and the story and him just doing a horror movie again. I never, I, I do think he's done a horror film before, but it, it's, it was interesting to see him do a horror film, especially just de dealing off with, with what this, this mystery trilogy has been for the past two movies and doing something different and changing the, the roles. And I thought Kenneth Branagh did a great job and the screenplay by Michael Green, who did was one of the did the screenplays for the film Blade Runner twenty forty nine, Logan, and The Call of the Wild. And this is a very well written film. The dialogue is really good. The story and the mystery and just also just the supernatural stuff, which is just fun. And it is a very well written film and the story and just also just trying to figure things out. Like being you do a who done it movie, you're always trying to figure out who did who. And I I, I like the screenplay for this film and. Also, the composer is by the films composed by Hilder Guando Toter. Hopefully, I say I said her name right. Who did the compo uh, the, the music for films like Jin, Joker, and Tar? And yeah, I didn't knew that she composed this movie. The the, the music is is good. I'm not saying otherwise, but it's not something where I'm gonna take out and say, oh damn. That's some iconic music right there. No, nothing, nothing like that. But it's, it, the music is pretty solid for what it is, though. The editing by Lucy Donaldson is pretty, uh, pretty well edited. I give it that. The pacing is really fast for the runtime for the movie. The pacing is quick and fast. The DP by Harris Zambar Locus, who did the cinematography for films like Locke. Eye in the Sky and Belfast and yeah man this is a beautiful looking movie it's very well shot and just how the camera movements where you get where things are a little iffy with Kenneth Branagh is really solid I think this is a very well shot movie and the film is good I had a great time with this movie I really had a really good time watching this movie and I can't say whether I buy it on blu-ray but this is definitely the best of the bunch. It's definitely the one that I'm gonna take out and say, man, this this has ever it has the two elements that I just really enjoy. Horror and mystery and it's just fun. And I just had a great time and it's honestly I, 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 I looking back at it, talking more about it, I thought the film was great. It it really is one of the best of the trilogy. It definitely took a novel that was definitely not the most loved by Agatha Christie, but I thought the film was great. I think this is the best of the bunch, and I think it's definitely would be cool to collect. It'd be like a movie that I'd take out and say, hey, let's watch a movie in Venice, and horror, and mystery, and it'd be like, and you get Kenneth Branagh just performance as Poro. So I'll put it four. I'll put it four out of five stars. This is a movie that I can really, like, oh, I can go back to and say, ah, I'll probably watch it again and just be fun to be in Venice and the mystery and the horror. It's great. It's a great movie. I have nothing really bad to say about this movie. I really, it's intense, it's suspenseful, and I was, I felt, I felt, I felt pleased by the end. I felt like, yeah, this is a great movie and I'm glad I got to see it. So those are my thoughts, guys. <laughs>